Imagine you are walking down the street and a bird randomly swoops by you and poops on you. Wouldn't you want to press charges against that bird? Well, in the medieval times, people did just that. Let's find out how. Animals have been legally tried and punished for their crimes as early as the Bible. In the second book of the Bible, Exodus, Hebrew law mandated that an ox be stoned if it attacked a person. Between the years of 1200 and 1750, it was common for animals to be tried with a jury and a defense attorney. During this period, there were 200 documented court cases of animals being prosecuted for their actions. Here are some examples of animals answering for their crimes in a medieval court. Pigs, by far, were some of the worst offenders. In some cases, when a pig is publicly convicted, they would have to wear a rope on their neck, dress in human clothing, or had to be naked. Whatever the reason, these are three recorded cases of such events. Number one, outside of Paris in 1266, a pig was publicly burned to death after a monk found it guilty of eating a child. Number two, in the late 1300s, a pig was found guilty and hanged to death for ending a child's life by tearing their face and arm. Number three, in 1547, a mother pig was accused of a similar crime. Her six piglets were also implicated in the incident as her accomplices. The mother was convicted and sentenced to death, while the piglets were granted bail due to their young age and the influence of their mother. They were returned to their owner until further evidence could prove their involvement in their mother's actions. Bears also had to answer for their crimes in court. In 1499, a bear went through a rampage through a German village and was summoned to court to answer for its actions. Strangely, the bear's defense attorney delayed the process by a week, arguing that he had a right to be tried by a jury of his own kind. The bear eventually was found guilty and sentenced by humans to be publicly hanged until the victim's relatives stoned it to death. Probably the most famous animal legal proceedings involved rats and their defense lawyers. Their lawyer was a French jurist named Bartholomew Chassigny, whose reputation was elevated from the case and who later became the premier president of the parliament in Aix. In 1521, Northern Ireland was plagued with an abnormally large number of rats which caused extensive crop damage. The secular court summoned all the rats from the province on the charge of feloniously eating and destroying all barley. When his clients, the rats, failed to appear in court, Chassigny strategically argued that his clients lived separately in numerous villages and one notification was not enough to reach them all. His argument was accepted and a second summons was issued for the defendants. The rats failed to appear for the second summon. This time, Chassigny explained that the rats could not appear in court because they were having difficulty on their journey as they were being hindered by their mortal enemies, the cats. Chassigny requested a cash guarantee that cats would not assault his clients on their way to court. Although the guarantee was rejected, his argument succeeded in postponing the proceeding. In most medieval cases, all animals, including insects, went through the same legal process as a person would under the eyes of God. Justice was served. Let me know about what you think about these court cases, if you found them strange, interesting, or just downright insane. I would greatly appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel and like this video. All my sources are in the description as usual. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for watching.